In this tutorial I'll be covering how I modeled this Garmin GPS in SolidWorks. This is a picture of the existing product. So to get started I'll just click on File, open a new part, click on my part template. This particular template's in inches. I'll click in the front plane and I'll hit sketch and I'll click on sketch picture to insert my front picture. So this picture is 4.75 inches in width. I'll uncheck the lock aspect ratio and type in 2.93 inches. And then I'm going to copy and paste the 4.75 and paste it into the X location, divide that by 2, and put a minus sign in front, which will place it in the center. Under transparency, I'll click full image and increase to 0.6 and hit check. This allows me to see my sketch lines over the sketch picture easier. I'll exit the sketch, I'll click on right plane, and I'll insert a, the side view this time, and then I will scale the height to 2.93 inches, and I'll uncheck lock aspect ratio. I'll type in 0.76 for the depth, and then I will, as you can see, it's, it's going the wrong direction. So I have to click on flip horizontal to flip it to the right direction. And I'll also increase the transparency and exit that sketch. Then I'm going to label these, these sketches. I'll label this one front pick. And then I'm going to label this one side pick. And this is a good habit to get into so that when you're working on teams or even for yourself, that you'll be able to find and show and hide these pictures at will. I'm going to make some, start off with making some reference geometry. So I'm going to click on the top plane and I will click under reference geometry. I'll click plane and the height, I will dial in 2.93, which is the height of the entire unit. And I'll check, I'll call this, label this as height. And then I'll click on the right plane I'll click on make a new plane and make this 2.375 because we're going to model in half. And so we're just going to model, I'm just going to put the half there and I'll, we'll mirror it over. And then I'm going to click on the front plane and I will make another plane off of that. And I'll dial in 0.76. And to make it go the opposite direction, I'll click flip. And it flips it to the other side check and then I will label this depth. Looks like this one was not labeled so I'll label this width. Okay <clears throat> and then I have a couple more reference planes to make. I'm gonna make a plane right at this front edge, one at the part line and one on the back edge. So I'm gonna reference this front plane and I'm going to dial in 0.12 inches and then I will check flip so you can see it will make it the plane right at that edge. I'll call this front edge and then I will make another plane and I will select the front edge plane that we just created and I will change that to 0.16 and then check flip and you can see it will line right up to that part line and finally I'll make another plane based still off the front edge and I'll clear these two references I just want the front edge reference and I'll dial in 0.325 and I'll click on the flip and it ends up right on the back edge there and then I'm going to label these so I'm going to label this middle one part line and then plane 6 I'm going to label as back edge. That will be so you know what I'm talking about as well when I reference these. So I'm going to click on the front edge plane and I'll click sketch. I'll go from a front view and I will draw a rectangle. You can use the mouse, ge the mouse gestures which you just right click mouse right button click and then you can select rectangle and I'm going to draw a box and then I'm going to right click hit select I'm going to click on this line left click left left mouse click and then I'm going to hold down the control button I click on this height and I'll hit collinear 
and I'll do the same with this line and the right plane, collinear. Same with the bottom line, hold down control, click on the top plane, hit collinear. And then same with this line and the, and the width and hit collinear. Looks like I have some geometry collinear. Okay. And I'm going to click on sketch fillet and I'll change this to 0.3 and I will select the top and the side edge and then also this and that will create the sketch fillets I need for this extrude. I'll click on features and oh, I'll hit check and I will hit extrude and I'll extrude this surface I'll say up to surface select change the direction one to up to surface and I will select the back edge plane okay and then I'll hit check and then I'm going to sketch on the front plane and I'll sketch go from a front view again I will draw a rectangle and I'm going to trace this face here roughly and I'm going to dimension it so I'll dimension the top line to the height plane I'll make this 0 0.05 and I will make this line to the width plane 0.25 and then I'll make the bottom line to the top plane 0.14 inches then I'll click on sketch fillet I'll adjust the sketch fillet to 0.175 inches and I'll click this top line and the side one and the side and this line and I will hit OK and I'll hit check then I can loft from this sketch over to the other this face so I will view hide all types so you can see it better what I'm doing here so there's that sketch I'm going to click on features well, I'll exit the sketch first and make sure I'm in feature so I can hit the solid loft as opposed to the surface loft which is an orange and I will click lofted boss slash base and it pre-selects the sketch that I already drew and I'm going to click on this face here okay and I'll hit check and then I will do the back side so I'm going to click on the on the depth plane I'll hit sketch and this time I'm going to click offset entities and I'm going to offset this back edge here so I'm going to click this line, this line, this one oops I need to undo that I'm going to click offset I'm going to click on this, this, this line this and this one and then I'm going to offset it by 0.25 inches if it's going the wrong direction you can just click reverse to reverse it but I'm going to inset it and then I'm going to click sketch fillet and then I'm going to change this sketch fillet well actually I want to make it 0.125 and then I'm going to add sketch fillet here as well so 0.125 in both of these I'll hit check and check again to exit this feature and then I'm going to delete the extra the old fillet and this one right here click this and hit delete okay then I need to connect these lines here so I'm just going to draw a draw the line tool and connect these two lines and then exit out of the sketch and I'll go to view, uncheck hide all types so I can see my other sketch here and I'll do the lofted boss slash base and select on this now sometimes it will twist depending on where I click so I can click on the screen sphere and just drag it over and untwist it and drag it over it'll untwist itself and I'll hit check and then you can see the full shapes here going on. I'm going to draw a part line so I'm going to click on the part line tool I have a part line plane click on that and I'll sketch and this time I'm going to click on offset entities and I'll select this front edge click on these edges here and this edge and this edge ok 
Okay, so it's offsetting outwards, but I want it to go inwards, so I'll click on the reverse, and I'll set it in by 10 thousandths, 0 0.01, and I'll hit check. And then I'm going to go in the front view, and I'll do my sketch tool here. And I'm going to draw my sketch. I'm just going to basically box it in with some lines. Okay. Make sure I boxed it in fully. Okay, good. And then I'm going to click Features into Extruded Cut. And I'll change the direction 1 to mid plane. And I'll change the, the thickness to 10,000. .01. And I will hit check. And you can see it created a part line there, a 10,000 part line. And then I'm going to cut in a groove detail, detail on the front. So I'll unhide my picture. And there's a little groove, a front groove detail. And so I will click on the front plane and I'll hit sketch. And this time I'm going to click on offset and offset this particular edge here. So I'll select these lines. Once I've selected those lines, I want to reverse the direction. So I'll reverse it and I'll change it to 30 thousandths, 0 0.03. So it's lining right up to that groove. And then I can hit check. Then I'm going to go to Features and I'll do an extruded cut. And this time I'm going to click on Thin Feature. So it'll cut just a, a, a groove out of this front face. And on the Thin Feature, I want to change it to a thickness of 0 0.02 and you can see there it's 0 0.02 thick now but it's going the wrong direction so I can click on this arrow to flip it so I'm going to flip it inwards and then under direction 1 I'm going to change this to blind and change this to 10 thousandths 0 0.01 and then I'll uncheck direction 2 because I only need to go one direction and I'll hit check and it cuts that groove in so you can see here that groove is cut. Okay, then I'll go to the front plane again, and I'm going to sketch. And this time I'm going to trace the window. So again, I'll draw my box, my rectangle. I'll start on the right plane. This time I'm going to trace relatively close to the window cutout. Doesn't have to be exact because I'm going to dimension it anyway. So I'm going to click on this top line and reference it to this height. And I'll type in 0.15 inches. And then for this line, I'll go to the width. And I'm going to make this 0.38. And then this bottom one, I'll go from this bottom line to this top plane, make this point four or five inches. Okay, so now I can click on features and I'll do an extruded cut and I'll drop it in by 90 thousandths, so point zero 0.09 and hit check and you can see what I have here. So I've cut the window in and now I need to add some draft so that it'll angle in. So I'll click draft tool and then for the neutral plane I'll select the front plane and the faces to draft, I want these faces here. And I'm going to just change this to 20 degrees for the angle, and I'll hit check. You can see it drafted it in by 20 degrees relative to the front plane. Okay. And then I'm going to add some fillets. So click on the fillet tool here. And I'll add a couple fillets in these corners. And I'll dial in. 50 thousandths, 0 0.05, and I'll check. I will click on a, another fillet, and I'll do this little edge. I'll cut, d dial in 10 thousandths, check. One more fillet, and I will do these edges here, this outside one, this front edge, and this, this, this back edge here. And I'll dial in 20 thousandths for these. And check. 
And then finally, I'll do this one on the back. It'll make this a little bit larger. So I'll click on this back edge and make this 80 thousandths, 0.08, and check. OK. I'm ready to mirror this over. So I'll click on Mirror. And I'm going to click on the right plane as my plane to mirror over. But I'm going to check bodies to mirror because I want the entire body. So I'll click the body. Merge is selected. That's good. I'll hit check. And we have the majority of the shape. If you want to add the decal in the front, you can. You can click on this face, add a decal. You'll have to have Photo View 360 loaded. If you don't have it loaded, you can click on Tools, Add-ins, and then make sure Photo View 360 is checked. And so once you have you once I click this face, I can click on Photo View 360 and click on Edit Decal, and I'll click Browse. And I can look for my decals, which will be under my SOLIDWORKS folder. And then I'll go to wherever my decal is, which is under Garmin. And I'll select the screen. And the screen will appear here. And under the Mapping tab, you can scroll down. You can just click Fit Width to Selection. So it'll automatically fit it to the selected face width-wise, or you can select height, but I just, width, since I have the aspect ratio locked, it will, and it's the right size, it'll scale it properly. Then I'll hit check, and if I want to make this a little bit brighter, because it's looking a little bit dark, then I can click on this display manager, and click on this little camera icon, and I will right click, I click on that, left click on it, right click on the lights, and I'll click add, oops, X that, I'll right click on the lights and I'll click add directional light. And you can see it adds a light there. I'll scroll down and I'll unlock the lock to model, which allows me allows the light to stay in place and the model to rotate. I'll hit check. And then I'm going to change the color of this entire GPS to make it a little darker. So I can click on this, there's a lot of ways to do it. I'll click on this appearance scenes and decals tab. I'll click on appearances. And I'll open up the plastic, and maybe I'll do a medium gloss. I'll roll down to maybe this dark gray, and I'll just roll it over this, this and drop it in here. Now you'll see that it's asking me if I want to apply it to a face, a feature, the body, or the entire part. I'm going to click on the body so that I'll assign it just to the body. And then I can also change the add some perspective. So I'll make it a little bit more dramatic. And I can adjust, well, I'll, I'll do three-point faded if you want to adjust that. So there you have it. That is the GPS. And I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial. And happy modeling.